If you want your AI videos to feel like they belong on the big screen, you have to master the light. So I refined 20 professional prompts to help you achieve that high-end Hollywood look in every single frame. So let's get started. So first we have the Hero Glow in mixed temperature. The key light is around 5000 kelvins from 45 degrees camera left. Then we have fill light, powerful rim light at 3K. I'll explain all of that later. So this is our hero now. Let's look at her. You see how the lights are coming from this side and from this side. And I'll explain now everything. This is how could that look like in real life. And now comes the mood or the Kelvin color temperature. Basically, Kelvin defines how light feels. Lower values around 3K are warm and cinematic like tungsten, and higher values like 5K are cool and clean like daylight or blue. So when you prompt an AI video model, you're not just placing the lights, you're telling it how the scene should feel. So then we also have something that I call dramatic cold night setup. And here we have the key light at much higher Kelvins, creating moonlight blue, then casting shadows or her side. And then we have also kind of a icy white rim light from behind. And this is exactly how does that look like. So this side here is completely illuminated by the blue light. This side is almost completely in the shadows. And by that AI video model follow the prompt exactly. Then we have category two, which I would call classical face shaping or portraiture. One of the most famous is butterfly lighting or the paramount look. So this look is a classic technique where a single key light is placed directly in front and slightly above the subject, creating a small symmetrical butterfly shaped shadow directly beneath the nose and emphasizing cheekbones. So here is our model. And now notice something. Look at the video closely. And then you will notice that butterfly effect exactly here. So as I mentioned, it is appearing under the nose and you can see it like butterfly wings exactly here. So this is achieved with the light, as I mentioned previously. And you notice her cheek bones, how emphasized they are. Then we have the Rembrandt lighting. Basically, it creates a signature small triangle of light on the shadowed cheek. And it is used a lot in dramatic thrillers and prestige dramas. So here is our model. Now look at this closely, okay? You didn't notice the triangle probably at the first time, but you'll notice it now. So let's stop exactly here. And here is that famous triangle used a lot in cinematography. And now it can be used in AI filmmaking. So then let's continue to the category three, which I would call natural and atmospheric light. Those are very popular ones. So first we have the golden hour, which is basically called like that because of the period shortly after the sunrise or before the sunset, when sunlight is softer, warmer and redder. Here is our new model and you can notice what is happening here exactly. Yeah. Sometimes it is enough just to type the golden hour. Sometimes you need to be more specific. Then kind of opposite of that, we have the blue hour that creates those twilight mystery. You see, of course, completely different look happening here. So the sun is nowhere to be seen. And those bluish colors before the night are appearing in our image, creating kind of a mysticism. Then we have the volumetric or God rays, and those makes the light beams visible through the air as if shining through the dust or the fog. It is used a lot in fantasy, sci-fi and discovery scene in ancient ruins, for example. This is the scene created in VO3 and you notice those volumetric lightings coming from above. I also tried the same prompt in Sora 2 Pro. It worked good, but something happening with the camera here on Sora. I don't know what they're doing here. But you also notice those shining from above coming here. Of course, we also need to show the natural moonlight reflection or the lunar glow. And here, always be careful while prompting, not just to say moonlight, because this often results in a flat blue image. Use the word specular reflection or skin moisture, which basically tells the eye to create that shimmer on the face that makes it look more realistic. And here is our guy looking at the sky and you see the reflection of the moonlight on his face with pretty much great details. So I'm creating all of these videos in all in one AI platform. So make AI because it lets me use many different AI video and image models in one place from VO 3.1 to Sora 2 to Nano Banana Pro, GPT image, Z image, you name it. So if you'd like to try the platform for free, you'll find the link in the description down below along with my 10% discount code. I would call the fourth category professional studio and color styles. 
starting with the Cyberpunk BI color Neon Contrast, which basically uses two opposing saturated colors, magenta and cyan, to light the scene. So I created this car in LTX2 Pro, and you obviously notice the color grading and the lightning in this scene, exactly as we prompted. He also created that lightning scene in VO3.1 Fast, and this is how it looks like. So we have this female warrior illuminated with the mentioned colors. Then we have the TV glow or electronic ambience, and this basically simulates the cool flickering light of screen reflecting on the subject. So here is our close-up, and you see the reflection in her eyes for some flickering screen. Then we also have something called high key or commercial cleanliness, and this floods the screen with bright, very even light and removing almost all of the shadows. And of course, this is used in product commercials. So I created this one in VO3.1 fast, and you see there are almost no shadows or no shadows at all behind the subject, this perfume here. I also recreated the same scene in Halo 2.3, and it looks pretty nice. You see no shadows behind the object. Then something kind of opposite is rim light or the halo separation. So it places a bright outline around the edges of the subject to separate it from the background. So once again we have the perfume bottle. I created this also in LTX2 Fast, and it looks pretty good. You see the separation coming exactly from the borders of this perfume. I created this also in the sea dance and here the separation is more obvious and animated here, but it also looks kind of a nice, the play with the lightning. So we are arriving at a category five, which I would call specialty narrative techniques. And the famous one is Gobo projection. What it does, it basically projects a pattern, like for example, a wind of blinds onto the scene. And it's used a lot in crime noir or psychological thrillers. And here we have our female detective created in VO3.1 fast. And here you see those patterns behind her creating that special light scene and kind of a mysticism. Most noir films look like that. I also created the similar in Sora 2. And here you see those lights and patterns coming from the Venetian blinds. Let's look at that one. And the smoky scenes always needs to happen in those kind of movies. And I also created that in Van 2.6 video, and you see those lights coming in special degree angle from the window. Looks also pretty, pretty good and pretty nice. And our female detective is excited. Then we also have the underlighting called the villain glow, and basically it places light below the face, casting shadows upward. And it is used a lot in horror and villain monologues. So here is our character. At first you see almost no lightning coming. And of course we would enlight this with, for example, the match here. And those are those interesting famous scenes for this detective. In this category, we could kind of include also dynamic firework reflection, which is pretty hard to achieve for the AI because of the multicolored light source. So here is our struggling hero. He is not happy with the new year and we can see the fireworks behind and his face changing the colors depending on the fireworks. Now this is a complicated one and in many cases you would need to have many different iterations to really follow your prompt completely. Here we also have the book light or the creamiest soft light. So we could say that the book light is the luxury version of a key light and the name comes from the physical setup which looks like an open book. So this kind of scenario and lighting look like this and it's used a lot in those interview scenes. Then we have the negative fill or the shadow shape. Here is our video. It looks really pretty good. And here's one tip also. So if you want your AI videos to look like a high budget movies or simply look better, so you should stop adding more lights and start taking light away. So now we arrived at category six, which I would call advanced separation. First, we have the cameo lightning or the void isolation. It basically lights the subject intensely while keeping the background in total crushed blackness. So this is it, and it is obvious that his face is illuminated and the background is completely black. Something kind of opposite from that is silhouette lightning or geometric form. It basically lights only the background, leaving the subject as a pitch black shape. And this is how does that look like. It is pretty nice and interesting way of manipulating the lighting in AI. Then we have something what I would call the dual subject colored silhouette, or the noir standoff, for example. Now, as an environment here, I use the photo studio, so that's why it looks like, like this, but it reminds on the noir film, for sure. And that wraps our guide on 
AI lighting. By mastering these 20 prompts, you now have the tools to dramatically improve the cinematic quality of your projects. If you found this tutorial useful, you definitely want to check out my other video where I explain 38 camera moves in AI filmmaking. Combining those movement techniques with this lighting will make your AI generations look truly professionals. If you found this helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe for more filmmaking tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.